Hi everyone, welcome back to Desired Foods. Today we are making Lebanese lamb chops. have my cleaned lamb chops here which I'm just going to add some salt to this and then I'm adding my Lebanese shawarma mix I do use the Greenfields brand so I'm just going to add that to the mix with some seven spice mix so you can use any type of seven spice mix and then I'm adding some paprika to this along with some dried parsley and then I'm adding some Middle Eastern grill mix and then I'm just going to add some sumac so this is what it would look like but I'm using some that I've got freshly from Turkey so I'm just going to add that in and then I'm adding some garlic paste. Now, by all means, you can use fresh garlic. And then I'm just using some natural Greek yogurt. So I'm just going to add that in and then I'm going to give this a good mix together. So you just want to combine everything together. So now I'm just going to add some more yogurt to this and then give that a good mix. Now, the longer you leave this to marinate, the better. So bear that in mind, you can leave it overnight or even two nights and it will taste fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna put the wrap over it and then leave this in the fridge to marinate overnight. So now to a heated pan, I'm just gonna add some vegetable oil and I'm gonna heat that up. And then once the oil is hot, I'm just going to add my lamb chops in. So I'm going to let this cook for about two to three minutes on the first side and then I will flip them over. So I've had my lamb chops cooking for about two and a half minutes on a medium heat. So now I'm just going to turn them over and then cook them for a further two and a half to three minutes again. So now these have been cooking for two and a half minutes on this side. I'm just going to give them a turn over again. So once I've turned over all my lamb chops, I'm going to reduce the heat down to a low heat. Then I'm going to cover my lamb chops and I'm going to turn them every three minutes and this will allow your chops to cook through but keep them nice and soft. So this will just make your meat nice and soft where it will fall off the bone. So I'm just gonna keep on doing that. So this is the second turn now that I'm doing. And you're gonna do this till they're cooked through. And then once they are cooked through, you're just gonna turn the heat up to get a nice sear on there. And what that will do will just dry up all the liquid that you've got in your pan. And then it will just coat your chops and stick to your chops nicely. So as you can see now, I'm turning the heat up. And as you can see that the liquid is now gone. And you're just left with the original oil that you started out with. So you're just going to do this till it gets a nice crispy coating. So you just want it to be like it's seared, not crisp where it's burnt. So 
so this is the situation that you were looking for so it's just got a nice thin coating of crispness on the chops and then they're ready to serve so this is my chops when they are done so i've just garnished them with some parsley and then i just served them with some baslama bread and some esme salad and you can find the recipes for that on my channel i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye guys